Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. If you're new, my name is Tana, and if you're returning, it is so nice to see you again. I'm gonna be updating my project pan. I'm doing this early because I have like a whole refresh. I was so excited when I hit my goal on like all of my products. I said, you know what? I'm gonna film this early. I don't care if this is early. I'm gonna just do a whole refresh for my project pan because I basically hit all of my goals and then I can continue like July and August with brand new products and I'm so 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 excited. So if you're new here I just want to let you guys know that my project pans are not like always monthly. I may update you every three weeks. I might update you every three months. It's only when I feel like I've made kind of enough progress to update you and when I feel like it is time to kind of update the project and today I am updating the project. So let's just get into all of this really good news. The first item we're going to talk about is the It's My Pleasure palette. I had a goal of 30 uses and I used this 30 times. I am so excited to say that I can roll this out. The goal was to either use this 30 times or hit pan on this shade here in bare minimum. I did not hit pan, however, I used this 30 times. And I can roll it out and I'm so excited that I can roll it out. Ah, that just means I can bring a new item in and I'm so excited and I'm hoping that my like random um, item picker chooses a new eyeshadow palette so we'll see but I'm so excited to say that I have 30 uses on there. I can put that palette away and pull it out when I want purples and now I can work on some of my other palettes. Okay. This one, I, I wish I could be more excited, but I'm not. The Merit Blush is still going to stay in here. I know, I know. But, I mean, we're getting there. Like, we... I am getting there. Look at this. It is, like, flat. Flat. This one will be staying in. I kind of already knew that. We already knew that. We already know this is probably going to be in here till like December. And if it's still in here, then I'll declutter it. But I mean, I'm getting there. We're getting there. I feel like the minute I finish this, that's when I will be updating you guys. Like the minute that this is done, I, I will do a early Project Pan um, video update because it's finished. But as of right now, it's staying in here. Here's an exciting one. The Tarte Lip Plump I finished. I don't have any more in here. I was doing a video where I was showing you guys my lip products and I was going to swatch it and literally the rest of it just, it was so creamy. It came apart, it was all messy. And then there was like a little, like a little, little bit left, like maybe this much left. And I was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done, like I'm not scooping in the bottom. I'm not using it when it's all mush. In July itself, I used it about 10 times, so I got good use on it. I got, in April, I used it 24 times. In May, I used it 13. And then in July, I used it about 10. So I got a lot of use out of this little sample, and I'm so happy to say it's done. I can roll it out. No, I would not repurchase it, but it was fun while I had it. Here's another exciting one, the Rare Beauty Concealer. I am calling this one done. It's not completely empty. I'd want to say it's like maybe 95% there or a little bit more than that. You can see I have a ton of like windowing and usage. There's not that much left in here. The reason why I'm getting rid of it is it's just too light for me, especially for now. The formula is older. It's not blending as well. It's not setting as well. And it's a little bit just dry. There's not much in here. And I ended up using this 11 times in May and then five times in July. So I used it 15 more times to just really try and use it before I decluttered it. And I feel like I gave it a good shot. But it is done, and I am going to focus now on my new concealer from Hourglass, which I'm really excited about. I've had this for a really long time. It did its job. It worked good. I'm at the end of it, and I'm done. My NARS lip oil will continue to stay in here because this is a newer product that was rolled in last month. I ended up, well, I've used this a lot. I haven't written down that I used this 13 times so far in July, but I know I have used this closer to 20 times because I do just reapply it. It is such a beautiful gloss, and I put a little marking on like where it is when it's settled. It's not going to show it like perfectly. So... So you can see I have a little mark kind of when it's settled as to where I am. Um, and then obviously because it's a gloss, once I take it out, it's like there's a lot like less in here 
without the applicator. So I'm really curious to see how fast I can actually use this. This is perfect for me to use day to day. It's the perfect item to have in my project pan. So I'm really excited to see how much use I can get before my next update. And I'm really hoping that I can finish it this year. You know what, let's reapply some just to kind of add an extra use and to, um, you know, gloss up my lips. There we go. Okay, and the last one that was in here it was the Jouer bronzer. So I have a goal to use this 15 times. I have used it 11 times. I only need to use it four more times, which is great. I'm going to show you this now. If you've seen my last one, you can probably tell that the indent on this one here is going a lot quicker. It's a lot less visible, the like actual like marking or the stamp of it. So I only need to use this four more times and then I can actually roll it out, which is really exciting. I use it as a bronzer and then I use it as eyeshadow. So if I use it as a bronzer, that's one use. If I use it as an eyeshadow, that's two. That's how I'm considering it because, I mean, I just feel like it's more fun that way. And I love using bronzer as an eyeshadow. I find it like completes the look, so, so I still have this in here. So I have three products left. This one here, I am going to roll in an extra one. So instead of just rolling in two more, I'm going to roll in three more. So there's going to be six products to work on because I know that this one is not going to take me as long. And I know that these two are like finishing. So these are going to be in here for longer. So let's roll in three new products. And I'm so excited about this one. Tiny decisions. We're going to reset the wheel. I don't think that you guys are actually able to see like what my phone screen says so I will just share it with you so let's see number one is the oh NARS lip oil it the NARS lip oil it's already in here let's re-roll I have two of them but I'm not gonna put two in here Ooh, another lip gloss it's the Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss my favorite lip gloss that I was really hoping to get more use out of. Cool, cool. Not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but we're going to put that aside. Let's roll for another one. What are we going to get? Okay. I feel like this is in here for a reason. So, my eyeliner. <laughs> I feel like that's in here for a reason. Okay. Ooh, exciting. And my Morphe palette. Okay, so here are the three items that was rolled in. So the first one was the Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss. This one here, I am going to just put a usage goal on it because I am currently working on another lip gloss. So I'm going to do a usage goal of 30. 30 uses, I feel like that's perfect. I could hit that goal in about a month or two and I know I could make really good progress with it and these two together are going to look bomb. This is also really nice by itself so I'm really excited. So yes, 30 uses for this one which I'm excited about. This keeps getting rolled in. It's my KVD liner. It's been open for a while and I always say and I put it in my project saying at the end of this like update, I, I'll declutter it. And then I said, well, I want to keep it around until it's like irritating my eyes or it's not working. And then it got rolled in again. I just feel like, you know what? I'm going to set myself a usage goal for this because I want to use it a little more and see how the formula is and actually get some use out of it instead of just letting it sit. So I'm trying to think of like a reasonable number because like 30 is too much, 15 is too much. Let's say four, four uses for this. And then if it's still performing good, I'll keep it. If it's not performing well, then I'll declutter it. So 30 uses for this, four uses for this. This one's really exciting though. This is my Morphe palette that I got for Christmas from my sister. And I haven't been able to play around with it too much because I've been focusing on other eyeshadow palettes. So for this one here, I'm not going to say I'm going to hit pan because I know I'm not going to be able to hit pan. I want to use every shade once. That's what I'm going to do. I want to use every single shade in here one time. And that's going to be perfect because I haven't been able to like play around with it. I haven't really, like I've used it, but I haven't really played around with like all of it as much as I would like to because I did focus on other ones. So yeah, I think using all of these shades 
at least once before I roll it out would be really, really fun. And then if it ever gets rolled back in, then I can do like a usage goal of like 15 or 30 or maybe try to hit pan if the formulas are really soft or powdery or something like that. But I haven't been able to like play with it. I haven't been able to like try different looks or experiment with all of the shades. So it'll be fun to use them all at least once. I'm gonna recap everything really quickly here so that we are all on the same page. So using this, using all the shades in this palette at least once each, Terracotta Blush is going to stay in here until it's done, which it should be soon. Really hoping it's soon. The Charlotte Tilbury Lip Gloss, 30 uses, and then I can roll it out. I'm gonna use this four times and then kind of make up my mind from there. I have the NARS Lip Oil that is going to stay in here until it's done. And then the Jouer Bronzer, I have four more uses on. So that's going to be my update for July. Hopefully I have an update for August. If not, you will see me in September. But I have a feeling you're gonna see me in August because I know for sure I'm gonna be able to blow through this. I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to blow through this. And I have a feeling that I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. So I have a feeling you're gonna see me a little bit sooner, probably more towards like the end of August. Um, if not, you'll see me in September. Let me know in the comments down below if you're doing a project pan or you're working on a product to finish. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.